think it's, um, it's, a, it's one of our fundamental challenges to try and understand how we can use big data. So you can actually do both together. You can do mapping and you can do very detailed geographical analysis and also do social analysis. So it kind of allows a synthesis of different disciplines and a possibility of synergies across different areas of research, which is very exciting. How does the future of media look like? How are the news produziert, Nachrichten produziert, wie werden Nachrichten verbreitet, wie werden Nachrichten konsumiert von den Usern. Ich glaube, da verändert sich gerade schon sehr viel. It's great to see you all, really great to see you all to come and talk about Big Data this evening. It's a it's a huge and interesting topic and we look at it at the embassy from so many different perspectives from the perspective of uh, of innovation from the perspective of the consumer from the perspective of competitiveness and the opportunities that offers and of course from the perspective of security and so i'm looking forward to the debate tonight if we want to avoid being overwhelmed by the transformation due to big data and if we want to control this development rather than being controlled by it i think we need to think about the legal political and ethical frameworks we want and, and, and need as a society in fact we are now seeing um, social scientists beginning to make sense of these kinds of innovative data sources. Our goal and our mission is uh, to get, collaborate with journalists, to collaborate with academics and to make sure that the data that Google provides um, from a journalistic point of view is being put in context, is being analysed, not by us, but by journalists and academics. The power shifts, what we were also talking about today, and who is in charge of, of collecting big data, of analyzing it, and of giving it to, to the public. Because, as it was mentioned, you never know if uh, it's the whole data that you get or if it's filtered, and who is responsible for that and who is in charge. That's, that's a tricky question. Also was wir heute auf jeden Fall gesehen haben, ist, dass Big Data auch immer ein Produkt ist, das mitverkauft wird, mit dem Diskurs, mit dem Hype. Seien es ähm, Angebote für Journalisten, Daten zu visualisieren, seien es Möglichkeiten für Sozialwissenschaftler, ihre Kernthesen zu transportieren, vielleicht auch Forschungsmittel zu akquirieren. Hinter dem Hype stecken immer auch Motoren.